Exclusive news for Steelers fans. An in-depth interview with Alandon Roberts asterisk asterisk. Today, we bring you an in-depth interview with Alandon Roberts, the standout linebacker for the Steelers, who is more prepared than ever for the 2024 season. In a recent conversation with Steelers Now, Roberts shared fascinating details about how the introduction of the new offensive system, led by Arthur Smith, is positively impacting the team's defense. Roberts, now in his second year with the Steelers, had an impressive season last year, exceeding all expectations. This year, he firmly believes that the team's defense will make a significant leap forward, and surprisingly, this isn't due to new defensive additions but to changes on the offensive side. According to Roberts, practicing daily against Arthur Smith's innovative offense is providing the defense with a unique competitive edge. This kind of offense is incredibly creative. Arthur constantly challenges us with his pre-snap movements and unconventional formations. This forces us to always stay alert and improve our communication as a defensive unit, explained Roberts. He added that this approach not only makes them technically better, but also helps them anticipate and react better to unexpected situations on the field. One of the distinctive features of Smith's offense is its speed and heavy use of pre-snap motions and formation shifts. Roberts noted that in the past, the defense sometimes got caught off guard by teams that operated this way. Sometimes you can get into a routine because, as a defense, you know each other so well. Then, you face a team that does these things, and you realize you need to be more prepared. Now we see all this in our daily practices, which is helping us stay on our toes, he detailed. Roberts, who earned the highest pro football focus, PFF, grade of his career last season, also talked about his new working dynamic with recently signed Patrick Queen. Although Queen will be the primary play caller in 2024, Roberts remains a crucial leader in the defense. Patrick is handling the huddle extremely well. But in this defense, we all need to communicate. If, for example, PQ is busy on a play, I can take charge, or any other linebacker. We all need to know how to communicate and what to do in every situation, Roberts affirmed. Elandon Roberts' career has been impressive from the start. Drafted by the New England Patriots in the sixth round of the 2016 NFL Draft, Roberts quickly made his mark. In his rookie season, he played in 12 games, recording 43 tackles and forcing a fumble. The Patriots won the Super Bowl that year, and Roberts became a key part of the defense in the following seasons. During his time in New England, he was also used as a fullback, scoring his first touchdown against the Dolphins. After his stint with the Patriots, Roberts signed with the Miami Dolphins, where he continued to prove his worth as a linebacker. In his first year with the Dolphins, he played 13 games before an injury but still managed 59 tackles, 1.5 sacks, and an interception. In 2022, he had one of his best seasons, recording 77 tackles, 5 sacks, and being named team captain. In March 2023, Roberts signed a two-year, $7 million contract with the Steelers. In his first season in Pittsburgh, he quickly became a central figure in the defense, starting 15 of the 16 games he played and achieving 91 combined tackles, 2.5 sacks, and 10 tackles for loss. His exceptional performance earned him the highest PFF grade of his career, with an impressive 72.5. In college, Roberts also made his mark. He began his career at Morgan State, where he had an outstanding freshman season with 107 tackles, the second-highest total in the school's history. He then transferred to the University of Houston, where he continued his ascent, culminating in an outstanding senior season with 142 tackles, six sacks, and an American Conference Championship. With this background, Roberts is prepared for another successful season with the Steelers. Although his current contract ends at the end of 2024, his performance on the field could easily earn him another extension with the team. Steelers fans can look forward to an even stronger and more coordinated defense thanks to the influence of Arthur Smith's creative offensive system and the constant leadership of Alandon Roberts. Steelers eager to see Patrick Queen and Latrobe with pads. The Pittsburgh Steelers are thrilled to have Patrick Queen and anticipate he will make a significant impact on the defense in 2024. Snagging a second-team All-Pro linebacker from your biggest rival is a brilliant move in every sense. The Pittsburgh Steelers achieved this by signing Patrick Queen this offseason, taking him from the Baltimore Ravens. Queen had his best professional season last year alongside Roquan Smith, and his signing means the team added a star through free agency. When you have the opportunity to sign a guy like Queen, the other elements of the equation don't matter, said Mike Tomlin. He's simply a well-rounded football player, and he proved it here in a football environment. I'm looking forward to taking him to Latrobe. Defensive coordinator Terrell Austin confirmed that Queen will wear the green dot for the team.
This is no surprise, especially since the team views Queen as a complete linebacker who can play on any down. This isn't a new task for him, meaning Queen should seamlessly assume the familiar responsibilities as the lead linebacker in the Steelers' defense. I think with PQ, obviously, we signed him because he had a great year, but it wasn't a one-off. He's played well since he arrived in Baltimore. We believe he's a complete linebacker for us. So, yes, he'll wear the green, before you ask, Mike. And he'll be the guy on every play, but I think he does unique things because he can cover, he can blitz, he can do a lot of things, and he's a very smart football player. So I'm really excited to have him with us. He gives us the opportunity to build around him, said Austin. Queen has mentioned this offseason that he aims to earn first-team All-Pro honors. If he can take another step forward, this time with the Steelers, he has the chance to achieve those accolades. With Queen signing, Pittsburgh added another star to their defense, which already boasts multiple stars at every level. When the pads come on in Latrobe, Queen aims to make an impression, and the Steelers are eager to see him. Alongside Peyton Wilson, Alandon Roberts, and Cole Holcomb, Queen will be the head of the deepest inside linebacker room the Steelers have had in a long time. Exclusive news for Pittsburgh Steelers fans. Attention, Pittsburgh Steelers fans. Exciting moves are on the horizon for our team, and we're here to keep you updated on all the details. After an offseason full of signings and strategic adjustments, the Steelers are still looking to add a crucial piece to their roster, an impact wide receiver. Rumors have been swirling intensely, and several NFL insiders like Michael Lombardi and Jason Lockhantfora are convinced that the Steelers are about to make a significant move. According to these experts, the team has been actively exploring the wide receiver market and might finally seal a deal before the season starts. During the NFL draft, there were strong rumors about a possible deal with the San Francisco 49ers to acquire Brandon Ayuk. Although that trade didn't materialize, the hope and expectation around this potential signing have not diminished. Jason LaCanfora, in his recent episode of the In the Huddle podcast, mentioned that he is convinced the Steelers will add a wide receiver via trade before the deadline. LaCanfora stated, I'm pretty sure the Steelers are going to add a receiver between now and the trade deadline. That's going to happen. They've budgeted for it. They've been trying to make it happen. I'd be very surprised if they don't get it done. As for potential candidates for this significant signing, Brandon Ayuk seems to be the most likely option. Negotiations between Ayuk and the 49ers over a contract extension have not progressed as expected, and the latest report indicates that the team's most recent offer is around $26 million, a figure Ayuk has yet to accept. This situation has led many to believe his departure from San Francisco could be imminent, and Pittsburgh appears to be the most logical destination. However, Ayuk is not the only name on the list. Cortland Sutton of the Denver Broncos has also been mentioned as a strong option. His contract situation might be more manageable for the Steelers, offering another route to bolster their receiving core. Additionally, other names to consider include John Mechie from the Houston Texans and Jacoby Myers from the Las Vegas Raiders, who could be intriguing surprises if those options are explored. But what if the Steelers don't manage to finalize a trade? The team has several internal options they trust. Van Jefferson seems to be the leading candidate to occupy the WR2 position behind George Pickens. Additionally, Calvin Austin, Quez Watkins, and Scotty Miller are ready to contribute significantly to the offense. Let's not forget third-round rookie Roman Wilson, whom the team is evaluating as a potential WR2 by the end of the season. So, dear fans, stay tuned and don't miss any updates on this exciting situation. The Pittsburgh Steelers are ready to surprise and give their best in the upcoming season. Here on your Steelers News Channel, we will keep you informed with every detail of this thrilling story.